what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here this will be a recap for from season three episode two episode two starts in the morning with victor and jade sitting around all the animals jade goes to the farm finds boyd tied up and kenny's mom of course is dead jade unties boyd who runs over to her dead body and cries hysterically apologizing in the woods jim discovers food growing and tells kenny this could feed the entire town at victor's house tabitha wakes up on the couch with victor's dad holding her at gunpoint he asks her questions and tabitha explains that Victor gave her the lunchbox. Victor's dad, who is named Henry, said we can just sit here together until the police arrive. Sarah tells Christy Kenny's mom is dead and then storms off while Marielle comforts her. Jade and Boyd cart the body through the town and put her to rest. Jade asks how Boyd is still alive and Boyd explains they wanted him to watch. Boyd is having flashes of what happened in the barn and it's pretty graphic. Ethan is comforted by Julie while he cries. Tabitha and Victor's dad go online and search from the missing fam or search for the missing families but he's convinced tabitha is lying the police show up but henry lies to them to get them to leave once he starts to believe tabitha donna and boyd talk about the animals and donna suggests he should have just let the animals run wild donna recounts how she was stupid enough to believe they'd ever make it home Back at Colony House, Fatima continues vomiting and Ellis is checking on her, saying Christy should come check on her. Fatima discovers her teeth are falling out, so they both go to see Christy. Jim and Kenny show back up in town with food. Boyd walks over, prepared to tell Kenny his mom is dead, but Kenny storms off in denial. Christy follows him to the diner and tells him his mom is in the church. Her body, anyway. Muriel tells Ellis and Fatima the baby is fine, but she needs to start eating. Kenny asks Christy if his mom suffered when she died or what happened to her. He asks Christy to make sure the body looks well. Jim finds Julie at home and she's convinced Tabitha is dead and tells Jim they can't fall apart the way they did when Thomas died because no one was there for Ethan. At Victor's house, Henry tells Tabitha about how his wife heard voices from children as well about being locked up in a tower he shows tabitha a room where his kids slept he admits he was blamed for his family's disappearance and explains he believes tabitha ellis walks fatima home and after nikki go goes inside fatima starts eating up some of the crops jade and christy clean up the body for kenny's mom or clean up the body of kenny's mom sarah interrupts bringing in a dress that she says the deceased would love or that the deceased love wearing i guess boyd comforts kenny and tells him he was forced to watch while his mom died. He tells Kenny the last word she said, and Kenny translates into her telling Boyd to take care of Kenny. Boyd takes Kenny to see his mother's body. Julie goes to see Sarah and tells her she thinks this place is getting to her and she doesn't want to end up like her. Sarah says she can always talk to her and Julie leaves. At Victor's house, Henry takes Tabitha into the basement and explains that his wife Miranda would paint everything she saw. Once the voices began, she described the place people found themselves lost and afraid at while this is going on. We are showing or we are being shown the funeral for Kenny's mom. Tabitha finds a drawing of the boy in white while Henry explains she's been chosen just like his wife was chosen. After the funeral, Ellison Boyd talk and Boyd says he has a plan to catch one of the monsters. Julie and Ethan go to the barn to check on the animals. Jim goes home and gets a phone call. On the other end, it's his son, Thomas. So that is from season three, episode two. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. Now, in episode three, uh, episode three, I can't really recall what you should expect. I think episode three is going to introduce some newcomers. Actually, episode three should be where you get some connections between something in the something at victor's house tying in with what we already know to be also present in fromville and there's a connection that is established of sorts so you guys can let me know what did you think about episode two down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and never miss a video in the description i'll have links to all my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video